A decisive battle for the title of strongest continues. But after chapter 233, it's clear to everyone in the community that it belongs to Satoru freaking Gojo. Why? Well, defending Sukuna is impossible now. The dude has made it 3 you versus what? 1, where Gojo has been pushed to the brink. And even though he puts Sukuna to bedtime and asleep, where he was given a knockout blow, the development of the fight keeps going against his favor. Much like how we, you know, joke around with Megami having his life update get worse every other week, the same thing is happening to Gojo. But guess what the goat responds with whilst being face to face with the hands of the devil that reached him? A big old smile in ecstasy revealing a new power called unlimited hollow this is crazy so if you're not a fan of the words peak fiction goat raw fire click off of the video at this moment he is more satisfied than ever all thanks to this fight with someone just as strong as him in other words goja and sukuna are literally nothing <laughs> however gojo jumps into beating the out of Maharaga, testing out theories along the way. He chants the incantations for the red technique to attack Maharaga in order to bring his lowered output back up. In chapter 223, we were told that going through the rituals of Jujutsu, like hand signs and incantations, reinforces the attack, making it much stronger, which is why Gojo is applying this method. However, it is at this instant that Sukuna finally wakes up from his slumber. Gojo acknowledges that the black flash definitely worked and as soon as Sukuna wakes up to see Maharaga being wrecked, he unleashes rabbit escape. Due to this, when Gojo fires red, the surroundings get destroyed and Maharaga barely takes any damage. Gojo notes that whilst Maharaga attacks, Sukuna is defending the Shikigami and creating an opening for it. He goes a step further to create a smoke screen using a fire extinguisher. But surprise, surprise, he takes the stance of a piercing blood technique. Impossible. If you forgot, it is the inherited curse technique of the Kamo clan, and we saw Naruto Shikamo and Choso use it in the story. So had Sukuna somehow stolen that technique too? Thankfully, no, he was simply replicating the pose that he saw Choso using through Yuji's eyes at Shibuya to channel Max Elephant's water in the form of an arrow. However, even as Gojo got jumped by all three opponents, he didn't take a single scratch! That's why he's the GOAT! Instead, he keeps pushing back and skillfully defends himself. He uses red once again on Maharaga to realize that its adaptation is gradual instead of going from 0 to 100 instantly. So the more hits Maharaga takes, the less effective red will be. On top of that, Sukuna's guard is up and he's trying to close the gap whilst attacking constantly, which means he is not prioritizing the adaptation to red. In this situation, Gojo concludes that his only option in this case is to take it down in one hit using a new technique. Unlimited Hono. Yes! Ours and the community prediction has come true. Give yourselves a round of applause. Now remember guys, Hollow Purple shoots out a large amount of imaginary mass by combining red and blue. And Gojo's domain is called Unlimited Void. So this attack is a combination of both. Something even more insane than a black hole. Just imagine a sphere full of colliding forces. That would be the most overpowered attack ever. Gojo's attack and recovery speeds are much faster than Maharaga, so it will not be able to defend itself against such a massive attack. And once a Shikigami of 10 shadows dies, it cannot be summoned again, which means that Sukuna's biggest card will be lost and he will be weakened, which is one of Gojo's goal. But let's not forget that Sukuna still has a massive arsenal on his side to use. Number one, the other Shikigami of 10 shadows, including the Dare, which can use the reverse custom 
technique. Number two, his own curse technique, the shrine, which can be used after infinity is down. Number three, the fire technique from open and other techniques that are stored in the same manner. Number four, his final forearm demon form from the Heian era that came with the divine weapons. And number five, the parting gift from Yorozu that was left a secret. Sukuna still has a lot more to give, and so do I. So to enjoy more peak fiction, Boruto's time skip has started. Watch the video on your screen right now as I break down everything.